Lowe's, in fact, reporting quarterly results earlier this morning, beating on both the top and the bottom lines and raising its annual revenue forecast. Joining us right now to talk about the results and much more is Marvin Ellison. He's the company's chairman, president, and CEO. And Marvin, welcome. Uh, thank you for being with us this morning. It's great to see you. Good morning. Great to be here. So let, let's talk a little bit about those results. Better than anticipated numbers on top line, the bottom line, you're raising your revenue growth. And a lot of this is because of the strength, I guess, in home improvement trends. What, what have you seen to this point with demand? Well, well Becky, uh, trends remain strong. Uh, as you said, we raise our guidance both on revenue and profit. So let me just take you to the, to the macro environment. And, and this is, you know, illustrative to kind of what we see. Uh, when you think about home improvement and the backdrop of what's driving it, you're looking at things like, you know, a true shortage of available homes. You're looking at things like home price appreciation, historically low mortgage rates, uh, an increase in disposable personal income, and a really interesting statistic. Over 50% of U.S. housing stock is over 40 years old, and we estimate that we have about $1.5 million in undersupply of homes to meet the demand. And so all of those things create uh, a, a very positive and proactive backdrop for home improvement. And so we're just a, a great beneficiary of the macro trends for our sector. So Wall Street's been kind of looking for the time when consumers move on and say, we've improved our homes, we did that during the pandemic, now we're ready to spend elsewhere. But, but you don't see that really happening. This isn't a, a, a return to reopening that, that you think makes sales go away. Well, I, exactly. You know, what, what we continue to see is, is demand continues to stay strong. We did a pulse survey of our professional customers, uh, and what they said to us is that their backlog of projects and their business is as robust as they've seen it in many years. And, and they can see that, that robust pipeline of projects going all the way through 2022. You know, so for us, it's really about executing really well to meet that demand and to ensure that, that we're looking around the corner, so to speak, to ask the question, what other demands are going to be out there? You know, today mm -hmm. we're going to be announcing something that we call Lowe's Livable Home. Uh, and, and this is our attempt to take a $32 billion market that is simply helping baby boomers and, and individuals who have mobility challenges redesign their homes so that they can age in place. You know, if you've ever tried, like I have for my father, to go to one location to get a walk-in bathtub or stair lift or pull-down cabinets, it's almost impossible. And, and so we are you're creating a one-stop shop at Lowe's where we're going to have this goods and services all in one location in partnership with AARP, uh, which is going to be uh, a collaborator with us to ensure that we can educate customers uh, and that we can give them the ability to learn how they can modify their homes in a way that can allow them to live you know, with mobility challenges but stay in the same place that they love. Uh, you know, I can attest to both of those things, having older people I know want to stay in their homes, also like looking to try and find a project. Good luck with that. It's going to be a long time before you can get a contractor yeah. or somebody come yeah. in and do it. Marvin, let's talk about the other shortages we've seen, though, and that's things like lumber, all kinds of essentials. We saw prices skyrocket um, through the course of the year, in some cases maybe doubling the cost of what it might be doing to the cost of a project if somebody was going to put on a back deck or something. What, what have you seen in terms of that inflation? How do you handle it? And, and how is it that you think you're going to be able to increase your gross margins in, in the full year, uh, even with these higher costs? Well, Becky, uh, lumber inflation was more pronounced earlier in the year. Uh, we saw historic deflation and prices fall in the third quarter. That was offset by dramatic inflation uh, in categories like copper. So net-net for us in the third quarter, it really balanced out. The, the thing that I'm really proud of is in the face of you know, true global supply chain challenges that you all talk about on a daily basis, uh, real issues with inflation. We're able to beat our margin rate for the quarter, uh, beat our operating income, uh, improve earnings per share. And as you mentioned earlier, we raise outlook for sales and revenue. The, the thing that we understand we have to do uh, is manage the business well because we want to be a customer-centric business that if you need goods or services for your home, you want to be able to come to Lowe's 
and get a competitive price. And that means that we have to manage through all of these challenges on a day in and day out basis. And I'm very fortunate that we have a great team of experienced leaders uh, that have dealt with this before. And, and we're just managing through it. And I'm very proud that we've been able to deal with all of these headwinds and, and yet still outperform all expectations in every financial line.